So think about when this is relevant, right? When would you need formal attire? All right, so again, we go back to those first questions about audience. Who, who is it that you're trying to impress? Uh, how impressive do you want them to be? Uh, why is it relevant? So in the business world, um, it, it is not uncommon for fundraisers, galas of various sorts, to be black tie. These are great networking events, and you meet people from a lot of different places. Uh, it's a huge networking opportunity. Those networking opportunities, relationships at the end of the day are, are the key. Um, relationships are formed by, by who you are, but your introduction, your foot in the door to building those relationships are how people perceive you. So galas, fundraisers, um, where you're networking, you know, you would, you would obviously wear formal attire. Um, special events are another example. Uh, award ceremonies, uh, you know, there are various uh, types of some ceremonies that take place in business. The San Antonio Business Journal does a variety of them, whether it's top places to work or, um, uh, you know, best CFO, best CEO. There are a number of events where the entire might be. Okay. Office parties as well. Um, we don't have formal office parties personally, but uh, but some some organizations do. So, so we talked about a uh, we talked about formal. So so let's talk about professional. So we're going to go down the scale from most formal to least formal. <coughs> professional attire. Think about a time when this would make sense. An interview. Okay. Certain workplaces. Presentation. Funerals, weddings. Think about this. You're always doing business. Always. So, uh, how do you look? Not just in the workplace. You cannot separate one from the other. I mean, you can, but I would advise you not to, because you meet people socially in places that can influence your career. Um, and how you look and how you present yourself makes a difference. Um, professional dress is a suit, uh, or uh, perhaps it's a blazer with a tie. Um, it doesn't have to be a matching suit. You know, it can be a, you know, a plaid blazer with a, with a dark colored pants or, or something like that for guys, a shirt or an Oxford um, tie, belt, dress shoes, and that's typical. Right. On the women's side, you know, you have uh, a lot of different options. Men's suits are typically, you know, I mean, for the most part, they're wool. Occasionally, you get a cotton suit, and you can start looking at different types of fabrics and those types of things. Women's have, women have a, seem a broader option when it comes to uh, professional attire. Um, but it's typically a pant or skirt suit, a blouse of some sort, whether that's a cotton blouse, a silk blouse, or some sort of blend, um, and closed coat shoes. So I didn't realize this until deep into my career that closed toe shoes were considered formal and open toe shoes were not. So, um, but, but this is the case. So uh, that's relevant because some organizations observe a professional attire. They require you to wear closed toe shoes. That's just how it is. Um, so something to think about as you're interviewing for jobs. Whether or not you're going to be comfortable wearing professional dress every day might be something you'd want to consider. Next slide. So this is, uh, I call this business professional. There's really not an industry term for business professional. Typically it's professional business casual. The problem is in the professional workplace, we started to see business casual take a turn towards the casual side. So I sort of dub this business professional because it is still dressy, but it's not as dressy as professional. Um, so for men, it might be, I take my tie off, right? Or I take my jacket and my tie off and I've just got a nice button up shirt and some slacks. Um, still the, you know, the polished leather shoes, the belt, um, you want your shirts to be pressed. Um, so this is an example of what I would consider being a business profession. Uh, it is a way to differentiate yourself. If you're working in a business casual setting, this is a way for you to stand apart from the other boxes of crackers in your workplace. If that makes any sense, okay? Um, you can still be casual, but you can also look 
more professional. And I promise it will make a distinction. You will be distinctive amongst your peers if this is, if this is the way you want to go. Um, Valero Energy Corporation, New Star Energy Corporation, uh, they are examples of local employers that require uh, professional attire. Except recently, Valero went to business uh, business casual, which is really business professional. Shed the tie, the jacket, you come in slacks and a button shirt for guys. For, for women, they got to get rid of the hose and um, can wear open hose uh, shoes. So, uh, New Star Energy, however, is an example of an employer that does observe professional dress. Okay? Um, for women, it's typically, uh, uh, as you can see from the photograph, I mean, that's still kind of an upscale, more professional look than casual. So if you go to the next slide, uh, business casual. So it starts to get the, 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 the lines gray. Um, what you notice about this, this these two photos, uh, in comparison to the previous, the, the, the fabric selection is a little short sleeve, still has a collar, still has a belt, um, but you're talking about cotton pants as opposed to wool pants. Um, probably can put uh, more casual shoes in with this type of, uh, of, uh, of wear, right? Um, business casual typically is, you know, khakis of some sort, not any kind of denim. Um, polo uh, or some a button-up of some sort. Um, imagine yourself shopping at Banana Republic. The Gap. Uh, examples might be Old Navy. These are places where you would likely find business casual type of clothing. Okay, um, flirting on the side of the casual. Um, on the women's side, uh, slacks, casual top. You know, again, khakis, um, a polo. Um, think about where you, if you were going to go to Chili's, or you were going to go to uh, a restaurant of some sort where. It's not dressy, but you want it to look nice. Those kind of are, I would say they correlate for business capital, okay? Uh, typically relevant um, in environments, uh, organizations, businesses that observe a business casual attire. Uh, some organizations are professional and in Fridays are business casual. Um, so, uh, Casual. Uh, this is obvious. This is what you guys wear probably about 80% of the time. If not more. Okay. Uh, denims of various sorts. And you know, it's interesting. Denim has come a long way from the Wranglers and the Lees and the Levi's. Right? Um, you have a variety of really dressy jeans that are out there. So as you consider what you're going to wear um, and how you want to differentiate yourself, you know, think about these kinds of things as well. But Typically, casual dresses, um, denim of, of any type, uh, can still be khakis. You can dress down khakis. You know, you put some tennis shoes or some toms on with some khakis and really bring that down. Or you can put some leather sh sole shoes on with some khakis and dress that up. It's got some versatility. But uh, uh, casual shoes, I mean, it could be loafers, boots, sandals. Uh, my business casual typically is blue jeans, uh, boots, and a button-up shirt. Um, uh, belt can be optional, shirt untucked. What you notice about this particular guy and shirts untucked as opposed to tucked in. So this is definitely a um, Women, uh, again, same type of thing. They really kind of mirror each other. So uh, women, fortunately, get a number of cuts that make their selections different and broader. And, and uh, the, the different types of fabrics that they can kind of throw into it really gives a broader selection. So, um, you know, you have many options when it comes to, uh, to casual. Recently, I have to admit, um, we observe a, you know, kind of a, we have a variety, really. Uh, it depends, we are, are, at True North, we observe a variety of styles when it comes to work. Um, my general rule of thumb is, if you're meeting with somebody, then dress it up. If you're gonna be in the office and you don't have anybody to see, then you know you can be as casual as you need to be without being disrespectful to other people. Okay. Um, so uh, recently, though, we we had uh, attended a couple of organizations. We had a couple of new hires. And these are professionals. 
um, they were wearing leggings with uh, with the you know a, a dress or um, I don't know, leggings with a long shirt. Sort of like. But uh, we had to sit down and have a conversation about that. Um, they were you know they felt comfortable that that was that that, that was acceptable, and we you know it, it, from a business perspective felt like well if we're going to be in front of the community. We want to dress that up a notch. Um, but as an example, you know, any other day, the, the stretch pants or the uh, the leggings or what have you would be just fine. 